Hey there, my name is Vladimir Uspensky and today we'll have a lesson, a guitar harmony guitar lesson. If you're a beginner, I think that's uh, not for you yet, but let's say if you're intermediate or higher, could be interesting for you. Uh, it's, I played a kind of blues uh, rhythm, but these harmony ideas, they work mostly for jazz, blues and any kind of music except i think uh, super heavy heart metal so let's go what do we have here we will take different keys it's not about me or let's say e it's could be whatever key let's start from g but that really doesn't matter okay we will talk mostly about steps so let's say we have some harmony situation when we are moving from this one from the first step to this one to the fourth step so from one to four we can find them here close but uh, i'm interested to look for them in the same string okay we are going from here to here uh, and we have four quarters for this yes four one two three four and on the on the uh, fifth quarter on the next bar yeah after fifth quarters we should become should we should we should come here uh, we can do it in different ways for example we can do this or like this or whatever but we will use this way in somehow this way we like more than others okay now let's take a look we have this G major or G7 chord but we will use only three fingers and three sounds for our movement okay this is first this is seventh and this is third okay like this only three notes and we have we will have the same one here this one is from g this one from c so it means first fourth but what we are interested now yeah what we will put inside of this yeah between these two chords how we'll do these three ones let's take a look because these are three sounds three sounds only chords we cannot exactly say is this for example uh, fa major fa f major in, in inversion this one or maybe it's for example let's say D minor seven like this one but with with fifth on the bass okay so it's something from them this one or this one but it doesn't matter because we are using now it doesn't matter because we are using only three fingers three sound scores so this one just just take a look it's those notes because our idea is to move all these steps this one to here this one to here and this one to here and do it in a mostly interesting way okay most interesting way so we just listen how it sounds it sounds great really this movement is great all the notes goes to the right places this one stays stays in the same position this moves here like half a tone and this one tone 
sounds very, very, very beautiful. So now we, we go here. This one, it could be this diminished, yeah, B flat diminished, or this one, it's E7-9, yeah, but with different bass. But we only use three sounds, three fingers, so for us it doesn't matter. This, this. Now we go here, so it's the same fingers like we used before this one so i don't use now now i don't use this finger okay but i i'm not sure i can play it without it yeah i can so like this everything is ready let's go and we are here in fourth in do in c okay so we started from g and we are already in c let's do it slowly okay That's it. So now we know how to go from the first to fourth. Now let's find a way back. Could be different, uh, a lot of, of them, but we will choose this one. Why we use this movement? Just because when we have this DO and it's, if we, we talk about blues, it's DO7, so we can use this 7 step for the next point. And I will use this chord, it's inversion of this DO, like we all, 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 often use this one, but I will use this. That means we have, it's still 3, 3 sounds chord. It could be like this, but I don't use uh, the second string. Don't play second string. Now I'm going back to first, to the first, to the G. Then I go lower, the same three notes, the same three fingers, yeah, and go back. So that means I have boom, 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 and I'm here, back. Let's do it slow. That's it. Uh, if we have these two, we can go forward and backward. Let's try. Great, that's already sounds very beautiful. Let's continue with this. Look, now I've changed a little bit. I found that this is even better. Why I like this one? Because now it's it's when when I have one bar of fourth, I have this one. That's that is four. This one that is also four, and this one now it's also four because instead of playing this one, this three, I will use this three, and that's just in an in inversion for for the same uh, fourth step. So it becomes this. One. That's that's correct way. Okay, and now the last last. Four, quarter four, we, we play this one and we'll go back to the first. So we, ha we have first, fourth, and first, fourth, first, with the movement to the fourth, now fourth moves to the first, first again. Do the same a little bit slower, okay? And 
last one, very, very, very slow. Okay. find an example where we will use I already told you a blues it's a cool cool one but what we can do there so if we have four bars of G that's we can we can just like I played in the first example I did I did exactly this I was in E but it's the same so for G it will be I just playing this this movement four times but what is even more interesting if we have more more jazz version of the blues like when it's first then we go, we go temporary to the fourth and then we come back to the first and it's like one bar of the first one bar of the fourth one two bars of the first and only then we come to the fourth uh, like it was in the previous uh, example. So right now we can use both of those movements and the first movement we can use very in a be very beautiful way because first time it will go like this and the second time when we go to the fourth it will use it like this. Even more beautiful. So let's take a look, okay? Go. go. Now we are in the fifth bar, in the fourth step, okay? One more time. What was the, what was this? It was first, fourth, first. First and then fourth. So these four bars we play first, fourth, first, first, and we we are coming, we are going to this fifth bar that is C major or fourth step. Okay. So these four bars we play like this. First we go here, then second we go back, and then third and fourth we're going like slowly. Two, two quarters each chord. So now it sounds like this. I like that movement very much. So that's, I think, a very good example. But it could be not in a, in a blues situation, it could be in different situations. Also, we can uh, use the same idea, for example, if, if we are in G, still in G, so let's say we have G and then A minor, okay, so something like this. We can do, I, I think you, you know already maybe that we can do this, so let's say movement like this but uh, also we can use our uh, movement from our lesson and try to do this one this idea so we are going from here to here this is an inversion yeah of this this is G and this is also G so even not three sounds uh, chord not three fingers chords we can do the same movements you see so instead of just playing play that is also very cool cool, cool and beautiful for some case yeah for some situation but in another situation or for the second time we can do this 
yeah, it's the same. G and A minor, so G, A minor. And then we go on, but I, I, I don't show it because our interest is here. So what, what are, where are we playing here? It's G, like this one. Oh, sorry, uh, this one or this one. But we use this inversion, okay? Then we have this one. This is famous, but this is the same. We just moved the first string to the sixth string. So I play with this finger, I play. I play four, fourth string and second string, so it sounds like this. And now I add sixth string. Uh, that means we have this very beautiful movement. <laughs> 